Long Legs is a 2024 psychological horror thriller written and directed by Osgood Perkins, or Oz Perkins, the son of actor Anthony Perkins, who starred as Norman Bates in Psycho. The film stars Micah Monroe, Nicolas Cage, and Blair Underwood. It tells the story, and it takes place in the 1990s as new FBI agent Lee Harker, played by Micah Monroe, is assigned to a unsolved case involving a satanic serial killer known as Long Legs, played by Nicolas Cage. As the investigation moves forward and the process keeps going and, you know, becomes more complicated with the occult and evidence being uncovered of how she uncovers it, Harker realizes that a personal link to the killer is with her and must act quickly in order to prevent another family from being murdered. Now, the aspect of this is, you could say it's the Silence of the Lambs meets the Zodiac movie, and you put it together in a blender, you get long legs. The movie runs for 101 minutes long, and it's fast-paced. It doesn't sit still at all. From the opening frame, you feel that uneasiness. It is not scary. It's scary in a sense where it's psychological and there's flashes of images that just get to you and stay with you, especially the way the camera shot is and the way the filmmaking is done. The wide angle shots are so, so good. The cutoff frames where we don't see Long Legs' eyes or the serial killer's eyes or Nick Cage's eyes, we just see half of it and he's just talking. The makeup is done so well. This is Nicolas Cage's best performance of his life and career and filmography. I don't care what anybody says. You could say Leaving Las Vegas is his best film role or acting role, but no. This tops it to a 10th degree that is unimaginable where you have to see it to believe it. Now, the way this film is shot, it doesn't hold back at all with showing the killings, how things are done, how murders are done, axes, and it's just in your face insane when you sit there at the theater you are tranced into watching what the next scene is going to be the way i mean by the camera angles and the shots is like when lee harker has her moments of anxiety or those tense moments the camera kind of pulls back in a way and an effect where you can see that uneasiness it has that alfred hitchcock feel to it which is really really interesting the writing is absolutely amazing and seeing how lee harker breaks down every single anecdote how the letters are done how the ciphers are done and seeing how the connection is with the serial killer is interesting she goes into certain trances and just wakes up because she has no idea of what's going on now nicholas cage's character long legs is a serial killer we get a backstory at the end where how he is introduced what's going on what's happening but he kills so-called girls or family members that the little girl's birthday is on the 14th of every month the satanic ritual the nine gates of hell the prayers the bible i mean everything is just an interesting way of how osgood perkins wrote this film this is a film that you will n never forget or never think of forgetting because it's that good this is this generation's silence of the lamps uh, lee harker and long legs do have that face-to-face -face moment in an interrogation room kind of like um you know clarice had with hannibal lecter in the silence of the lambs and it's just really interesting and the quick snippet bursts of how nicholas cage just goes out in his mind of acting and how he goes does certain things and there are certain things when you leave the theater or when after you watch this movie you'll be like oh my god the dialogues and the things that he said will stay with you and will just not leave you the aspect of how the little intricate things that he does is really funny but he does it over the top but it's so well done over the top uh the acting is really good. Micah Monroe does a phenomenal job in this. I liked her in this more than I did the film It Follows. It Follows was her breakout role. I personally did not like that film, but this film really is good. And there are aspects, and you can see that, oh, Lee Harker is not the normal Clarice that you think an FBI agent should be. This one, she's smarter. She knows what she's doing. And its reason is she's smarter is it's explained in the film this is a 
phenomenal film. I mean, I went into it not knowing anything, and the reason is because the trailers gave nothing away. The trailers didn't even give away how Nicolas Cage looked as long legs. Like, mind blown, anxiety, you just, you know, you just have a sigh of relief after this film is done. It's like, wow, what did I just witness? You would want to watch it over and over again, especially knowing how everything connects and how everything falls in the domino effect of how everything came to be in this movie. And even the interesting thing is that the end credits, instead of going up, they're coming from above and they're going down. Fantastic. Always love that. It has a nice Hitchcock feel to it, which is always great. The aspect of everything being centered, like houses, the lights, the way she walks into a hallway, the way the color red is done, the way the scenes are cut, the way it just snaps out of it and you go to a quiet scene and it's loud, right back to quiet, loud, quiet, quiet, loud. It's done so well. When there's something going on in the background, you can hear it. So it plays well on audio, visual, subtle imagery, the atmosphere, tension. It's just so, so good and it'll make you think even more. This is one of the best films of 2024 and probably the best movie of 2024. This so far is at the top of my list and it's going to be really hard to knock off. I'm very curious to see what Osgood Perkins does with his next film because he has a calling for horror thriller or horror movies in that genre and he is phenomenal at what he does not only that he's also done other aspects of certain films and um, collaborations but this this is going to put him on the map and make him a big big director in horror and writing and if it goes on we're going to see a lot more i mean this is the new horror thriller serial killer movie of today and when i went to see it the theater was fully packed and it's very rare that that happens for a new film that gets so much buzz that the trailer doesn't show anything and word of mouth is going to make this film worth seeing worth watching over and over again i'm definitely going to check it out again because this was a phenomenal movie for me long legs gets five out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about long legs did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it what do you think about the aspect of the directing the storytelling the acting what was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? Do you think more could have been done? Do you think that it had that scary psychological feel to it? And will you be seeing it again after watching it for the first time? And will this be your go-to horror movie for years to come? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And also let me know what rating you would give Long Legs. I'm Mr. Filmstock. Thank you so much for tuning into my review of Long Legs, written and directed by Osgood Perkins or Oz Perkins. I'll see you all in the next review video.